this is just shared code. I think they should display the same things or something. We're building a post entry here, so we need to be able to set the user here. Like, we only need to do that if we are, we are not even in. How about we just provide a monad that generates? Yeah, and then we can uh, uh, specify how to do that for uh, ask free and plan different and dump solution, but it works. I also want to put in, no, I don't want to mm -hmm, uh, even generate, but it's also recursive. <laughs> okay, just give me a dynamic. Difference we see between Scott and ES is a basically templating engine and obviously implements a complete application in Yet help. Yeah, so the Jet Soap web framework thing, it will just make a bunch of decisions for you, which is what you need because you don't know, like you don't have the intuition yet to decide that for yourself. So using other people's choices is fine, I think. This is also why people like Django, for example, in Pipe, they do the same thing or, oh, once a yeah, like uh, Ruby on Rails. And this is why Toding is making his his web server in assembly because he just doesn't give a shit. I didn't like Django. Okay, I have used Flask. Yeah, Flask is Flask is uh, gives you more freedom. But if you want to have a lot of freedom, then yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea. Maybe username, huh? My name. So what does maybe username mean? Basically, freedom to do thing. Huh? I don't know. If it's like your first web project, you probably should do something easy. <laughs> I don't know, in case of Haskell, like you can you can glue everything together apparently. And it's just so easy to work with. Um so if you really want you could build everything from scratch and build it. There's not like a build stuff from scratch there. But like I'm afraid if you start building from scratch you would um get disengaged because it just takes so long. Like this is the thing if you use uh something like Yesot then you get something quickly. Which is nice. I, I hear like people build their startups on Yesot, so I think that's the entire part of the thing. Just to, to build stuff quickly. I uh, the only reason I went with Servant was because I was familiar with it. So like picking up Yeset would be another. And like the other thing about Yeset is it doesn't do single page app. And I wanted to have single page app. Like having these. So if I click here, for example, this stuff update and doing that um, with like Yeset is harder. You, you would basically need to invent your own solution to do that, which is basically what I just completely do. I'm doing. It would be also nice to have another reference. Like if you document your, uh, well, you would do it on video anyway, I, I presume. I don't know. Would you? It would be interesting. Oh, cool. I'm scared. Well, you, uh, the other thing is that if you get stuck for a while, then other people can help you, right? That's a nice. Why do I have a compile error? So, oh, right, I changed this. Right, okay. Actually, so the thing I'm doing here is I'm building this dynamic. What the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. I'm essentially like building this. Uh, God, what is this? I'm building this. Name to then I'm using this name to dynamic thing to build the roster engine. And if you are, if you don't provide me a username, I'll use the selected one. Uh, but if you do provide me a username, I'll use that one. And I think this is how I um, circumvented uh, making this widget aware of credentials. But uh, we're gonna delete that and we're gonna use this because it's <laughs> way simpler. I don't think I need to even put it into a mode. Oh yeah, I do. I do because I want to evaluate it somewhere. I want to put put it like down here and make like a widget out of it. And then in case of ask free, we'll just do uh, pure const dine whatever username. Excellent. We don't need to provide this anymore. My name. And we do need to provide username dine. Which I decided to put here for no reason at all. Uh, this is time. Not to be confused with user time. Uh, what the fuck is this? God, what the fuck? Oh my god. Map twice, twice. Who decided to do that app, like, rename this shit? What the fuck? How is this more readable? Server valid now. What happened to your awesome operators? I think I finally replaced it. Someone wanted to get rid of him. I don't know who, but... If they said it was more readable or something. Maybe they just hate spaceships. I think that's it. May have been me lol. How is this more readable? It's just... Like this weird symbol here between the, the quote. What the fuck is this supposed to mean, man? Whatever. This this entire like I, I bet it's also pretty old code. Whatever. We don't mind. Uh, add use to end. Post end. What I do. Oh, it's also complicated too, apparently. <sighs> From unique dynamic selected dying. Dynamic username to roster. What are you? Entry dying. Entry dying. The fuck. 
I don't like this at all. What the fuck is in So we have a dynamic which has a function inside it. You can dynamically change how the roster entry is made apparently. I don't know why it's inside the dynamic you have it. Function that can change over time. This is what this means. Function that can change over time. I don't know where it's made or it type reasonable time. Okay, so create entry function does that. Oh, we just need to app that to this. And now we're done. We can delete all this shit and just app that you uh, Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> cool. Where's create entry? There you go. Create entry. And then let better entry is That's only used there, huh? Oh, you're ignoring it in the other case, huh? But we don't even have this case thing anymore. Selected and nine. Oh, this is actually the function that does the proper conversion then. I can't believe what? Right. This is in case if we don't have a username. Okay, we're gonna handle this outside of this widget, so whatever. Delete this. It's fine. But how do we need to make the restaurant entry then? Right, this is what the function did. We already have that, so it's fine. We can just wrap it into pure, pure. Build pure, pure, and it's fine. Pure, pure, pure. Fun. Essentially what we're doing here, right? Pure, pure. So pure for um, validation and pure for non-empty. Pure, pure. Into dynamic. Better entry. And now you have the same type because you're pure, pure. You just morphically come better. Is your list? Is it doing more stuff? Kind okay. like in case if you have multiple. Yes. We have entry fun and we have selected. And how does that the com there will be a list? Are you not even doing the? And then you're putting it in pure. So with selected users, just username. And then you're putting it in the list. Not list. And you're putting it in other pure. That's for uh, success. Pure for success. Media computer lens exposure is weird. It never looks like that. My code. <laughs> but I'm also amazed at how, how, how well you know lens. Um, I've stared at lens for a long, long time. This is old code. This like the the reason this I'm getting confused by all this shit is because this is ancient. This is not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> And I could fix it properly by um, probably using the monad instance for this, and the applicative instance for this, and then add the applicative do. But um, I don't want to fix it now. <laughs> I just want to make it work. There are little lenses here. Uh, back then I didn't know lens at well. Right, we split up the thing so we can't blame. We can do the music right now. Why did it do the lot lot? We ran out again, so I need to still add more song. Huh? Annoying. That's trivial what I'm saying. Like I'm doing something, like I'm building this massive interconnected widget, right? This is one massive thing that has pretty complicated event handling as well. Like just look at what gets updated. This gets updated, that gets updated, table gets updated, and this stuff gets updated. And also this thing. And yeah. So, but it like remains simple because of reflex, like relatively simple at least. I'm not sure like if I can make it more simple. I can probably make this more simple for sure. I don't want to though. I'll do that once I need to modify post entry. I don't think I have to do that in the future though. <laughs> like, I, I try to, like I already did the massive refactor for this code, right? I made this split up for planner, rest and ask and spending more time on refactoring. Mm -mm. It's pretty bad, yeah. Okay. Right, we're better entry, pure pure. I'm just gonna make this work. I don't like this. Right, the repetition doesn't work like that. This is only if I have multiple templates selected. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm fine with this. This is better entry, and that's correct. We can delete those functions. Because we're gonna co push that complexity out with this, and it will be simpler as well. <laughs> Great, we'll use Monad. And over map. Wait, what? But these were non related. Hey, are you sure? Type in Rust. But I fixed that. Really? Okay, whatever. I don't. What? Well, at least we have better enter. 94. I right, can delete this piece of shit. Oh, that feels good. 163. No, I'm doing the wrong one. Hey, okay. we should go from bottom to top. That's better. That's even a function. What the fuck? Failure is pure. No, no. Oh, you can't even do that, right? Failure is not pure, unfortunately. Failure is, is impure. Die pure. So now we need to fix the compile error we just made. 
that's not the compiler I mean like I, I changed the interface of the function uh, yeah time process and we're gonna keep it simple for now uh, we can like the current behavior is this username is the selected username and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the selected username changeable by this form no actually I wanna I don't want to do it like that. No, I want to always give the selected username, and then we we gonna use. Oh, yeah, okay. We always gonna give the selected. We don't even have to use, put it in a monitor. Then, okay. No, we have to because I want to put the, the widget in there. Yeah, but I didn't get to get the value. Out. Okay. Like the thing I want to do is I want to have this event the select chain. Uh, I want to modify this event because if I modify this event, then uh, I can update the select everywhere. So that will be. Um, I could type in a name here from the suggestion list, and if it's valid, then uh, the name that's being selected in the table will, will also change. Like, it, the table will, will automatically update itself. Um, I kind of want that. But the problem is that this thing doesn't give us the opportunity to do that, because we uh, we, we don't get the value. We can make an event right, right? Like, we can make it run an event right, and then, because the monitor is polymorphic, we can get the event out. That's not a horrible idea. I like that. A bit hacky, but uh, I like it. It keeps everything simple. I really think this code is so complicated. I mean, yeah, didn't I just say earlier in the stream that it took me one or two weeks to get up and running with Reflex and just to get used. For example, value recursion also. Yeah, that was like one of the big... I suppose that's really complicated. It allows us to use bound values from the monadic bind. I don't know which one is being up. But, uh, I suppose we'll start complaining if we delete it. <laughs> this looks weird. This is a bit bad. Okay, well, let's just fix the compiler first. So, you're wrong. You're nothing. You're pure selected. We'll make your pure selected first. You. Pure view. We're gonna put the widget in there and make this run an event writer and then pull out the written event which will be selected change. Haha! <laughs> Like the chain, so we can update the thing we selected. This is such a hack. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm loving it more and more. Sure, if you. Got it. My number will from calling me my noise and planning stuff. is separate project. Yeah, exactly. Let's tying shit together. <laughs> yeah, it's also defining where stuff uh, exists on the document. And that was also like really. At first, I thought it was uh, maybe maybe a bad decision to put this kind of few logic together with um, like actual code. But um, I've had not no troubles with just understanding what's going on by doing that. Hmm. It's love plumbing everywhere. You can't even like. Um, most of the parts that are not that much plumbing. Oh no, I think front end work is mostly plumbing. Pure plumbing. <laughs> hmm. view, huh? Uh, this is an ask. We know ask what to do now because it's to just username. It's really easy. So now, like this is the old way, right? Now we're gonna do pure for monad, pure for dynamic, and then username. I actually don't like uh, using pure pure. Uh, I've shot myself in the foot multiple times by doing too much polymorphism. Let's pure few. Few. And then non -one. I don't know. Or, yeah, user. User. Is that like a known name? I bet it's in like new types or something. Oh, we also need to be constant. And we need to put this thing in selected selected users. Few selected users, non username. But the non thing gets rid of maybe. Oh, actually, I've uh, used that in the new. Um, I f figured out how to do default values in um, the Stream to YouTube thing, which I'm probably gonna rename to something else because it's not the, going to do the YouTube part in a long while because there are more interesting things to do, like more useful. Uh, Chiroptical and I discussed a bit for a bit with that. But um, the options is still interesting because this is using generic OPARS applicative. And I figured out how to do um, default values with help of lenses. And this also will be parsed as, uh, as a, like uh, optional. So you just wrap something in maybe and then use none to set the default value. And everything works. I'm not sure how this will work as a setter, by the way, with none. Maybe if you set it to nothing, it will use a default value or something. I don't know. But yeah, none is pretty cool. It doesn't always work though. I don't know why. Well, because it's not a compile mostly. That's why it doesn't work. 
need to have a user. Wait, does it want to have a username or user? Could be I. Let's type maybe you. Yeah, now, now it's not working. I don't know why. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. We've selected users, which is maybe. And we need to non before doing username. Hmm. Right, that's the problem I usually have with non, because I have the wrong type. I don't have a default user. We'll, we'll preview it then and do this wrong maybe. Because if you have preview, we can uh, walk over just. And then do this wrong maybe. So I, I think it lit a bunch of code that was basically expressing this problem. <laughs> I hope it, it looked like that. Which will type unique tiny. Oh, you're already in a dynamic, of course. What am I doing? Oh, you're in a unique tiny even.